Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Mason Palos, creator, one of the creators of Burrito Galaxy 64. Yeah, we're ready. This presentation will be about food. I am the developer of Burrito Galaxy. So you're probably asking, what does this have to do about video games? Well, food is video games. Why? What is food? Food is... Graphics. How does the food look? If the food tastes, if the food looks good, you'll want to eat it. Food is also mechanics. How do you eat food? Some food is really clunky and hard to eat. Some food has awful controls. Some food gets really messy, just like video games. Food also has input. You put it in your mouth just like video games. And food, video games also has output. Comes out of your butt, just like video games. Food also inspires feeling, and I think that's really good. If you want to make a game about food, foods such as donuts or bananas, or burritos. And here's an example of how food has inspired me in my game development. Never mind, I don't have internet. I'm connecting to the internet. So in this example in Burrito Galaxy, you make burritos to sustain yourself. And a cool thing in games that food helps you with is food is unique in so many ways. There's so many different foods. And I think a cool thing in games that I see is a mechanic that if you were skinned it as something else, it wouldn't make any sense. And I think that's a solid type of mechanic, and food helps you so much with that. And making games about food makes that a lot easier. Because the burritos, if I replace the burritos in Burrito Galaxy with donuts or bananas, it would make no sense. Food is video games. That was my presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, a round, warm round of applause. Mason, how was the burrito? Delicious. Fantastic. 
We were unable to bring Mason onto the stage unless we gave him a burrito. It's very nice.